investigators are piecing together the chain of events that led to a car chase and an overnight standoff in Vinton. Yeah, the wanted man who led uh, multiple police agencies in an elaborate chase is this man, 37-year-old James Vermillion. He's in custody and he's currently being evaluated at the hospital. WSLS 10's Rachel Lucas spoke to witnesses who say they're still shaken up from the standoff that didn't end until early this morning. It took almost 12 hours and a team of police negotiators to get Vermillion, who police say was armed and dangerous, to come out of the home here on Pine Street. Gun in hand, the home was surrounded by police through the night. They made multiple attempts to get Vermillion out of the home, including detonating flashbangs at the door. We were scared to death. And Dunbar lives only feet away from where 37-year-old James Vermillion was hiding. I'm almost speechless because, like I said, this stuff happens you know, to someone else. It don't happen two doors down from you. Normally what she calls a quiet neighborhood, these streets were filled with police armed with riot gear. They were everywhere. They were all in, the, they were all in my yard. They were on the decks. They were in people's apartments. They were everywhere. There were snipers up under cars, and they all had big guns. After the situation escalated, she says she and her neighbors were evacuated from their homes. We didn't know anything. You know, just being evacuated, it was, it was terrifying. The night started off much differently miles down the road when police were tipped off that Vermillion, who was a wanted man, was inside this apartment. After a woman inside was safely led from the building, Vermillion came out with a gun to his head and was able to get into his car, leading police on a chase. After eluding police through traffic, he crashed his car by this intersection. That's when he hijacked another car. The car was later found here. It's unclear if Vermillion knew the residents living inside. Police quickly surrounded the home. It was kind of scary, to be honest. Matthew Brown was there that night. I walked up and I started hearing them yelling on the bullhorn at the guy inside the house. After 12 hours, police were able to get Vermillion to surrender. Vermillion was apprehended by police and is currently being treated at a nearby hospital. In Vinton, I'm Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10.